hi guys so finally the time has come now to update all your samsung galaxy s2 smartphones so first up from the help of below links you can you need to download the firmware zip file once you've downloaded you'll be getting these four extracted files as you are seeing on your screen right now up next you also need to extract download and extract the odin package upon extraction you'll be getting again the four files which you can see it over here so now after this just open the odin in your computer and after that you just need to turn off your samsung galaxy s2 smartphone but before doing so ensure that your phone is left with the minimum of 50 to 60 percent of battery charge so as to ensure that the phone doesn't get turned off in the middle of firmware update so that this is odin which is seeing it right now on your screen now after that let's check how you can Put your Samsung Galaxy S2 smartphone in download mode. Press the volume down, the center button, and the power button. So once it's done, it will prompt you to press the volume up button for continuing the same. So there you go. This is the download mode which you're seeing it right now. So now, with the help of USB connection, just connect the USB port over here at the bottom of the phone once connected you can see that the IDCOM section will turn blue which will clearly indicate that all the drivers, all the necessary drivers have been already installed in the system so now let's select the files so as you can see that the added section has already been entered over here now click on PIT navigate to the folder where you have placed the firmware zip file this firmware is dubbed as xxlq5 so this is a pit file which you need to select then up next ensure that the bootloader option is blank in pda section select this i9100 code this file all the files you can select with the help of the below mentioned article which is being given in depth after that click on phone to select this modem one then on csd the csd one which is meant being mentioned over here so once it's done just need to ensure that again the auto reboot option is selected repartition option is selected f reset time option is being selected and also at the same time the flash lock as well as the entry control option both should not be selected so once it's done and the IDCOM section is glowing blue, just click on start. It will take a minute or two for applying the firmware, but ensure that the phone is not being turned off in the middle of this. So as you can see that the partition is being written and also the various processor go in the process of applying this update the whole process should take around 4 to 5 minutes it may take less or more number of minutes so as you can see that on your phone a progress bar is being shown as you can see that there is a progress bar which is being shown on your phone as well which will indicate the how much percentage of firmware update has been applied in your phone even the same can be seen in your computer as well now the factory YFS process is been running in the phone There are many websites which have come up with the review of this which clearly states that there are some battery bugs which are being found as of now but as and when the time goes on there will be new set of releases which will be re releasing very soon for Galaxy S2 smartphone and the same will be addressed in those firmware fixes. Also we will be soon coming up with the routing process which will clearly 
help you in routing your XXLQ5 firmware which is nothing but the Jellybean 4.1 which we are updating right now on our Samsung Galaxy S2 smartphone you need to be patient at this point of time because if the firmware is uh, being flashed and the, if the USB cable is being removed in the middle of the firmware update then there's a possibility that the firmware may get corrupted and also the phone may not get turned on as well which in a gail mess up things so ensure that you're following all the instructions which are mentioned in your in the article which is of which the link is given below so now as you can see that the data fs section has been cleared and then the cache is being cleared from your phone So as you can see that still some hidden process is being going on. So again it should take around 3 to 4 minutes from here for applying this firmware update. Now the modem broadband file is being flashed in the phone and then the cache is again being cleared. as you can see that on the system pass system has been come and then the galaxy s2 smartphone logo as you can see that the android logo is being flashed the device is processing all the firmware patches which are being installed in the system so as you can see that again the Samsung Galaxy S2 GTI 910 logo has come. So the phone has finally been ported. Ensure that you are not disconnecting the uh, USB cable as of now. Because still you see any language preferences and, and all. We to ensure that the USB cable is bang on there. Since it's the first time after updating the firmware, the phone will take some amount of time for booting up. So as you can see that still the device is on the Gam Galaxy S2 logo. So now it's asking for the country selection. So let's start with the United Kingdom. So you can pair your Galaxy, your Google account at the latest stage as well. Just skip to the system. You can skip this one as well. Now let's check out the firmware version it's been updated with. The settings and then about phone and then that set so as you can see over here that it's 4.0.4 update. That's a XLQ5 update which is being given over here. So this is the latest update of ICS uh, which you're seeing it right now on your screen. But do let us know that if you face any of the issues as we try our best to come up with the same.